This video presents the Parallax shader. This is used by ARCHICAD's built-in Cinerender engine, and it can provide unique surface characteristics. If we render a surface that already has some textures, but the bump effect is switched off, the resulting image will appear flat and unnatural. Let's display the Surface Settings dialog. As you can see, the Bump option is not selected. Let's enable this, and notice that ARCHICAD has predefined bump characteristics assigned for this brick surface. Please also note that the parallax offset value is set to zero for now. Let's select the surface used for the keyboard, and let's also enable the bump surface channel option. Let's render the scene again. You may have already noticed that the surfaces have a more natural look. Let's compare the results and pay close attention to the effect of the bump channel. This provides a certain 3D look for the image. Let's see how we can further improve this image. We'll use the new Parallax shader. Previously, our only option to improve the image quality was to enable the displacement option, which would considerably increase rendering time. Let's enter 20 for the parallax offset value. We can also provide a so-called sample value. The closer we look at the surface, the higher this value should be. We will enter 32 this time. We'll use the very same parallax settings for the brick surface as well. Let's re-render the scene, and we will see that the result is even more professional than before. Both the keyboard and the brick surface looks more natural. Let's compare the results and see the difference. The parallax shader ensures a unique, spatial 3D look for the rendering. By enabling the parallax shader, the rendering time will increase slightly. However, when using this option, the overall rendering time is still much less than it would have been if we had enabled the displacement channel. The other great advantage of the parallax shader is that there is no need to create an additional channel. It's available as an additional feature of the bump channel and also uses the texture already selected for the bump channel. 